Hello everybody and welcome to day five. Getting closer, 20 days to go. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've been enjoying the videos that I've been doing so far with the different cheeses and the different beers. So far so good I guess. Um, cherry beer wasn't too great, nor was the other lager, but the lagers. So uh, what are you going to do? Let's get straight onto the calendar then. So time for day five and day five's joke. What happened when the air conditioning in the cheese factory broke? There was a meltdown. I have no words. I think I've got another red Leicester. I kind of like what I do is I take it out of the box, drop it on the floor without looking at the label. It looks like another red Leicester, and it is. But this time it's an aged red Leicester. Didn't know you could get aged red Leicesters. And then I have to cast my mind back now to yesterday to see if I can remember what it tasted like and then compare the two. And as most people who know me, my memory's pretty shit. Right. Red Leicester again. But this one's old. I could say it smells stronger, but again, it's not a psychological thing, you know. <clears throat> okay, no word of a lie. That is definitely different to the other Red Leicester. Um, this really is like the granddaddy of Red Leicesters. It's even got that, that, that crunch you sometimes get with um, mature vintage cheddar. You've got that with the Red Leicester. Um, it's really changed the flavour profile of it. It's uh, nice. That really surprised me. I didn't think you could get um, like a mature Red Leicester. I just thought Red Leicester was Red Leicester and that was about it. Um, the kick it gives is really nice. Totally different to the kind of um, flavours that you get from a mature cheddar, obviously. But um, mm, that's a good one. I don't think you could eat too much of it. But uh, do you know what? I like that. So much I'm tapping on the table. So yeah, uh, what did I do yesterday? It was the cherry cherry lager, weren't it? I'm going for a bottle today. And uh, the bottle I'm doing is of a uh, beer that I've tried before. It's, uh, what do they call them? Two seconds. A wheat beer. So it's a wheat beer I've tried before. I do like my wheat beers. I like my whole garden and stuff. And I like my blue moon. Especially with a nice slice of orange. This is a blue moon. But it's blue moon mango. So I didn't even know this existed. Um, I buy, I have this drink quite a lot when I'm in America. I do really like it. No, so I have blue moon a lot when I'm in America. Obviously not mango because I didn't even know it existed. So it'd be quite nice to uh, see what it's like. Obviously bottle opener. It's not like a twist one like in America. We're old school in the UK. Oh, you can really smell the mango. Not honestly, you can. Oh, that's nice. Oh, just in case you're wondering, Stormtrooper. I'm quite uh, confident so far with the uh, fact that they smell so strongly of mango. I do like mango stuff. One of my favourite sorbets is mango sorbet. Eat a whole like tub if I'm wrong sitting. So it's expected for a white beer. It's cloudy. It's what you normally expect with one. Uh, so another niff. That is a really strong mango. Really is. Looking forward to this one. 
Wish me luck. I don't know if it's going to be a common theme with these flavoured beers. <clears throat> they smell of the flavour more than they taste of the flavour. Uh, it is nice because it's Blue Moon and I like Blue Moon. The mango flavour isn't strong now. I'm just wondering if I've got a pretty crappy palate. But if you take a breath in as you're drinking it. Yeah, do you know what? You can taste the mango. I was a bit too quick to uh, criticise that. Uh, but on the third sip. Yeah, still not super strong. I'm guessing they don't want them to be super strong because you don't want to take away from the actual taste of the beer or the ale or whatever you have in. Um, I won't, I won't lie, I prefer the proper, normal, standard Blue Moon with a nice slice of lemon. I do really like that. Uh, this one's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, I keep burping on these videos, it's so rude. Let's try Super Mega Mature Red Lister. Oh, so sorry. With uh, mango, mango beer, mango beer. <clears throat> they just love the professionalism in all these videos. Yeah, that went well. Yeah, that went well. I think what's happening with the cheese is most of the creaminess of the cheese but it kind of um dilutes the the coarseness of some of the beers but uh yeah I've, um, it's been a good one today I found out that mature red leicester exists and it's nice mango blue moon it's not too bad either uh hopefully you'll find these videos quite interesting and you'll go out yourself and try some random beers the ones I've been buying, I think the most expensive, funnily enough, was a blooming Palmer White for £2 something. But everything else has, on average, been around £1.50. Um, so it's not too bad, really, just to try different things. Do you know what I mean? Life's too short. Try things, enjoy yourself. And on that um, the motto of life, if you want to call it that, I'm going to say once again, thanks for watching all these videos. Hopefully they've been enjoyable. And uh, please like and subscribe. Please tell your mates um, to watch it. Obviously not to not watch it. And uh, I'll see you on Monday for, uh, well, more of the same. Try a bit.